Ultrite had discovered the key to the entire Chimera strategy. The tower they found had not been constructed, it had been excavated. That single fact changed everything we knew about the Chimera. Leaving Somerset, they must have noticed the power conduits radiating from the tower behind them. We believe this discovery is what inspired Hale's fateful actions later that day. The drive to Southern Command would have taken at least an hour. Time enough for the Chimera to launch a strike force. Well, well, well. That doesn't sound great, does it? Hey guys, and welcome back to Resistance Fall of Man. So, the devil is at the door, apparently. The devil can only mean one thing, the Chimera. Well, let's see what we can do about these bastards, shall we? Shouldn't be too difficult to set some of them down. By the way, this opening of this mission is bloody hard. You got it. Yeah, this is kind of savage because, oof, God, there's a long way. Um, we have to go a decent way, I should say, before we get our first checkpoint. Man, like humanity is screwed. Look at the technology um, disadvantage. I mean, these guys have got actual, like, active homing missile systems and everything built into their weaponry. Ooh. <laughs> it's not great for humanity, is it? Oh well, no time for tears. Let's uh, go to work, shall we? Oh, hello, I didn't see you surviving. So Southern Command is under siege. That's not fantastic. Not really. <sighs> Come on, boys. Oof. Yeah, they've mined the crap out of this place. Which is fun. They must have moved in and mined the stuff pretty quick, to be fair. Because it's only you just come under attack. Oh, man, that was rough. Cowan, you big, ugly bastard. Have some shock. Oh, God. Uh, I think he's going to be okay, lads. <laughs> I think. Alright, this is the, not quite the tough bit, there's a hell of a battle going on over here, look at this madness, well that's okay, we can start picking off some of these guys, just slowly, slowly, start thinning the herd, with our good old marksman rifle, oh, hello, Little fellas found us. That's okay. We've got plenty of ammo for everybody. I say we've got plenty of ammo. It's not really true. We have a handful of bullets that we can carry with this gun. And I really hate the way every time you have to slowly zoom in with this weapon. Ooh. I can't see his head. Well, that's okay. It didn't matter. No, it did. He took that shot like a champion and came back, apparently. Alright, well. Oh, we're out of... We're out of breath, apparently. That's fine. There's one left. Oh, maybe there's none left. Sure there ah no there's a couple actually. Oh let's get the old machine gun out doing the Lord's work here. Now I don't know actually. Alright lads. Oh god, look at that. I don't think we can kill these. Oh hi. Yeah, this bit. So if we die here, we have to go all the way back to the beginning. Now, it doesn't sound bad, but when you've done it 36,000 times, it's a little bit annoying. Oof. Because we only have to take one of those on the chin. Oh, before it's all over. Which is not great odds. I don't know why our soldiers are literally Leroying. Oh, ah, yep. 
Yep, that hurt. Oof. Okay, <sighs> survived for now. Yeah, those missiles actually home in on us, which is kind of curious. Oh, jeez, that was close. <sighs> the amount of times uh, when I was playing this game earlier that I died on that guy is insane. And like I say, every time you die, you go all the way back to the beginning of the level and you have to fight for everything again. It's pretty rough, but we did it. It's fine. We persevered. Russian tactics of throwing everything, including the kitchen sink, at your adversary. Oh, now what have we got left? All right, we'll take this. Now, welcome to Minesville. Population us. Yeah, this game is kind of more like a platformer here, which is a bit weird. Which, I will be honest, is one thing that I didn't actually like about uh, Doom Eternal. I didn't mind the, rem uh, the remake of Doom. I actually quite liked it. Uh, when it came out, was it 2016 or whenever that came out? That was really good. But I must admit, I wasn't that interested with Doom Eternal. I watched uh, my missus play through most of it. But I I thought she was playing Mario in hell. Like, it was just platforming. You know, there was a bit of demon slaying thrown in with very minuscule amounts of ammo. So you're constantly changing up your weapons and things like that. You can never just grab a weapon and have fun with it. Yeah. I mean, lots of people enjoyed it. So, a eh, fair dues. But it's not really the direction that I want to see Doom going, personally. But that's fine. You don't have to like every game. Whoop. See what I mean? Do you see what I mean? They like their minds. They really like their minds. A little bit too much, if I'm being honest. Oh, oh, we're going up, we're going up. <laughs> going down. Yeah. They can kill you really bloody fast. Not a huge fan of the mines. <laughs> but then, mines aren't really designed to be fun, are they? Oh, hello. Sorry, am I insulting your mines? What are you going to do about it, huh? Yeah, that's right gurgle up your own guts and blood. Yeah, I'm not sure if you destroy all their hoses. Uh, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow. Oh, the... Oh, hello. He's literally riding my arsehole. That was inconsiderate. I like to believe if we shoot all their hoses off, they might actually, like, overheat and cook themselves. Uh, you Really? We can't actually jump over that, apparently. That barbed wire. Must be magic barbed wire. I don't like magic barbed wire. I like normal barbed wire. All these old mines. Oof. Yeah, they really didn't want us getting inside this little bay, did they? Shame there's nothing actually inside here. It's just a few little supplies. Some goodies. I mean, we like goodies. Goodies are well, good. But not really a lot there to warrant quite the um, minefield if you ask me. Anyway, let's get back up. We're getting lots of frag grenades. Which is fine. What? Oh, we've We've got loads of grenades. We've got fuel air grenades. The whole works. Well, it'd be rude to just leave them in our back pocket now, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of these. Yeah, they take a considerable amount of killing. There we go. And I don't think these... These aren't manned, then. Oh, great. They must be kind of, like, computer-controlled or something. I guess. Not really sure if these chaps... ...are master programmers, but... ...I guess they must be, to some degree. 
I don't know what these mortars are actually firing at. They seem to be... Ooh, hello. Blasting all over the place. But that's fine. We just have to take them out. And they also seem to have unlimited ammo as well, which is interesting. Hmm. What's going on down here? Oh, nothing our far eye can't sort out. Yes. Yeah, I'm guessing if we lose these transports, um, we are boned. Kind of makes sense. If you can't move your troops around efficiently, you're screwed. But then, if you're so hopelessly outnumbered anyway, you're screwed anyway, surely? You know, these spire attacks... I mean, all they've got to do is um, launch that s one of those spires into a huge population center with a few million people. And all of a sudden, they have a few million soldiers at their disposal. I mean, it's sort of one-sided when you think about it. You're done. You know, if you're humanity and you lose 50,000 men, you're having a bad day and the war's probably not going in your favour. But if you're the Chimera and you lose 50,000 men, it doesn't really matter because you can just shoot a Spire missile into a huge population centre and get loads of men, loads of troops back. Uh, and they don't even have to worry about equipping them because they don't have to worry about money. They don't. They have all of these factories all over the place, producing uh, as many soldiers and equipment as they can possibly muster. So, you know, there's no finances, there's no artificial barriers holding them back. They just crack out equipment and weapons. Literally as fast as, um, you know, they can pull in the resources. Now, humanity as a whole, I can't see how we can really compete with those kind of odds. But, you know, <laughs> I guess humanity's got something up its sleeve. Cheers, boss. It's kind of like a uh, flood infestation, really. The only chance you have is to stamp it out as soon as it starts. The soldiers fought off the worst of the attack on the northern entrance, but we then faced a graver threat. The Chimera had infiltrated the hangar on the south side. If we didn't get the planes out safely, then all would truly be lost. Oof. Get to the hangar. Make sure all the transports get out. And we barely have any planes left, so... Can't really afford to lose any more. We're already kind of boned. But let's have a look inside this place, see what's left. I'd wager not much. These guys need to be held. Captain Parker, the Chimera has sealed the base. Only Hales made it inside. Then pray he's enough. On every star in the sky, Captain. Now, ooh, I'm not sure if that means everybody outside is dead, or if that literally means only Hale has made it inside. I'm not really sure. Oh, hello. Oof, I, s I guess grenades are kind of effective against those guys. Ooh, okay, yep. Whoop! This is going to be a little bit of a rough stair landing. Well, that sounded juicy. Oh, hello, little fella. Are you the only one left? Ooh! Ooh. 
We nearly got one shot then. Jeez. Somebody's not happy to see us. Rude. Very rude. Hello. Ooh. Jesus, those those augers or argus, whatever you want to call them, um, they don't mess around, do they? I guess we could have rattled back with our one, but yeah. Evening. Sorry to break up this party. Oof! Now this is where we find the first. Ooh. <laughs> Ah, uh, they don't look they don't look so threatening when they're just a pile of bits. So this is where we find our first intelligence. Uh crates, I believe. Uh fifteenth of Jan, nineteen fifty. 1300. They've had us unloading crates off VTOLs all day. They say it's just lab equipment for NC. I don't know if that's... I guess that's Northern Command. I did think that was like... I don't know. Um, New York or something. But no, that doesn't make any sense. Northern Command. But they've got over 100 men guarding the loading site. 16th of January. Uh, I noticed some of the crates had American flags on them. Doesn't make sense. Everybody knows the Yanks are staying out of the war at all costs. Now, I like to believe if the Americans joined earlier, he pro Europe would have probably had a much better chance. But Europe kind of got smashed. So one more nation, would that have made much difference? And now in a global war like, you know... Um, World War Two and stuff like that. Obviously, it made a humongous difference. But when you're fighting the Chimera, I mean, ugh. <laughs> it's hard to imagine really any meaningful victory of just having another um, country turn up. Maybe they could have organised a little bit more of a defence. But those spire attacks, those spire missiles, kind of just render everything null and void. So you've got an extra 100,000 American troops, say, which is, you know, not insignificant. That's quite a lot. But, you know, one spire attack would wipe all of those out, which is what happened kind of in the beginning of this game. Uh, yeah, fighting these guys would be incredibly rough. Oh, we're dead. Yep, we're dead. Son of a bitch. Now, where's the checkpoint? Sometimes the checkpoint's generous. Sometimes... It's not. Thanks, game. Ah, oh, that's kind of anus. That's really anus. But that's okay. It take us too long to get back up to oh I thought I only killed two son of a bitch let's paint your ass there we go right let's get a nade in there oof they hit the whole fruit right there whoop just roll a grenade down up his asshole there we go now we're cooking with gas Come to take my bunker back, you bastards. Now, the annoying thing as well is the weapon placement uh, does appear to change. At least it feels like it changes on that weapon wheel. Kind of sounds like paranoia and nonsense, but it feels like it's changing. The shotgun's at the bottom, right? Hasn't the Arga been the other side? And the bullseye. Yeah. Yes, the weapons change where they are. Which is kind of weird. Not 100%. Huh. Okay. 
Okay, so if you tap, you can cycle through all the weapons, which is questionable. Alright. Let's get some nades out here anyway. Ooh, you know. Yeah, because the Arg is usually this side. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Let's just clear the road. Think everyone's dead, Dave. Pretty sure everyone's dead. Okay. Ah, yes. Now this place... Oh, God. You son of a bitch. This guy just charges me. Which I'm not much of a fan of. I'm going to be honest. Absolute bell end. Uh, maybe we'll grab this. Yeah. He actually got a little bit mobile then. Now, I absolutely love this weapon. I wanted to see what's on the menu. Ah! Kind of a new enemy here. Kind of. What's on the menu? Ham, egg and chips. Nice. Corn, beef and chips. Unusual. Okay. Bacon, egg and chips. Nice. Sausage and chips. Nice. Sausage, egg and chips. Nice. Spum and chip. I don't know. Is that spam? If it's not, I don't know what spum is. Burgers and chips. Nice. Spum. Egg. That's Unless that does mean spam. It's just they can't call it spam. Beans, tomatoes, tea and coffee. Alright. That'll do it. Oh, actually, I think there's a cool poster around here somewhere. Oh, the sensational beetles. Yes, the beetles. Remember them? Yeah, where is it? I mean, you can actually read those posters. It's just telling you how to survive an atomic attack. Which is, ah, there it is. Danger crawls by war bonds. The world relies on us to stop it. And then this help us in their destruction. Enlist today. Don't let them scare you. They are harmless with teamwork. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's just go with that, shall we? Harmless. Totally harmless. More like they'll bend you over that pool table and spank your ass. No matter how many of you there is. Okay. Let's keep moving. Oop. Knock, knock. Still, we've got a cool gun. Now, one thing as well. Even the sapper... If you notice, you've even got a pipe waving around, the little pipe on the sapper. It's exactly the same pipe and tubing as is on this weapon. So, I don't know, man. Ooh, good night. Good night. We came, we saw, we got horribly mutilated. 